Hello everyone. So now that we have downloaded and installed Postgres and PG Admin to our computer, and also we have loaded the DVD rental database, and also we've gotten an understanding understanding of what our database looks like based on my previous video. It is now time to start learning about the different SQL statements. Okay. If you have not watched my previous video in this series or playlist, I will encourage you to go right now to first watch those videos before you continue this one because that will give you a very good footing or uh, foundation, you know, for you to understand this current video. Okay, are you ready, guys? So, in this video, we're going to be learning two SQL statements select statement and from statement. Okay. So we are going to be learning select statement. We are also going to be learning from statement. Okay, now let's bring up our uh, PG admin. I have mine already. So go ahead and bring up yours. Remember, we have our DVD rental database already. Now go to schemas. Okay. And then go to tables. Okay. So when you do that on your tables, you can right click and say query tool you could also right click on schemas that's fine you you get you then then you click on query tool okay so that gives us an interface where we would like uh to write our queries remember what i said we are looking at select statement and also from statement now what is select statement the select statement helps you to identify the column or the columns that you are interested in pulling from a particular table. What do we mean? Let's say we have this table right here, which we already know to be the actor table. And inside this actor table, let me expand this. Inside this actor table, we have these columns, these four columns, actor ID, first name, last name, last update. So if you are interested in all these four columns, in all the columns, then we are going to say select star. You put star right there. Okay. But if you are interested in pulling specific columns, say you are interested in pulling one columns or two of those columns, then you are going to write out the names of those columns. We are going to see an example of that. Okay. But let us start with this first. If I'm interested in pulling all the columns of a particular table, then I will say select star. Okay. Now, the next statement is what we call from statement. From. What is that statement doing? It helps us to identify the table that you want to pull data from. It helps to identify the table you want to pull data from. Take, for example, we want to pull data from this actor table. Okay. Then what I need to do right here is to type in actor. So now what is this statement saying right here? It's saying that select star. Select star means select all the columns. So I'm saying pull all the columns for me. Okay, and then from what table? From the actor table. Okay, and if you take note, I wrote these commands in uppercase. If you write it in lowercase, also that is fine. But I like to write it in uppercase for 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 human readability, so that when I'm seeing my query like this, then I know these are the keywords or the or the um, uh, I know these are the keywords. Or the commands okay so if I run this query right here just do execute boom you can see I have all my data right here so this is selecting all the columns because if you look at this right here this is actor ID first name last name last update those four columns those are still the same four columns we have here actor ID first name last name last update so that means that when you write your statement like this, okay, it gives you all the columns of that table. 
select helps you to select the columns you are interested in if you put star in front of the select that means that you are selecting all the columns from what table you put the name of the table right here okay let's assume you want to select specific columns so in this case let's assume i want to select the actor id take note these are the names of the columns you have to type it like this actor id then you put a comma for me i like to go to the next line i like to indent it very it doesn't really matter but you know for human uh, readability so that anybody that is reading my code understands what i'm doing easily so i'll say first name which we know that is the second column let's say i need only the actor id and their first name then i can just write it this way take note the last column that you write do you don't need to put comma if you put a comma is going to result in an error let us try that it's always good to try it you see that because i put a comma here i have a syntax error it says on line four that there is a syntax error and that's because i put this comma on this last uh column right so i'm going to take out that column and then run my query again good you can see that i have actor id and then the first name do you understand that guys let's assume i don't want actor id but i only want the first name and then i want to show the last name you can see last name okay so let me type it right here last underscore name okay so like i said i like it to be human readable then i can say select first name last name from what table from this actor table okay if i run this let's see what it gives me you see it gives me first name and last name because i have selected these columns okay also if you want you can also have it this way even if you have uh your your query this way it is still gonna run okay it is still gonna run even if you have everything in one line but as time goes on when you are writing complex statements it's gonna be difficult for anyone to read your 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 statement or your query rather it's gonna be difficult because if you write everything in one line let's look at it if i run it right now you will see that uh you probably will not know but let me change something right here so that you you can be able to tell that we actually did change something so i will say select actor id first name last name remember after the last column don't put a comma from actor i will run that good you can see actor id first name last name that tells you that sql doesn't care about you writing everything on one line but like i said for human readability sake it's always good to try to you know follow a particular standard that you know that lets your query to be to be easy that it can be easily read you see so that's basically what i'm doing right here so anybody that reads this now knows that i'm saying select actor id first name last name from what table from the actor table can you see that now so this statement right here helps me to be able to pull all the records in this table but pulling only these three columns actor id first name and last name okay if i run it it gives me all the all the rows 200 rows but i'm only showing three records like i said if i want to show all the columns then i would say select star is going to show me all the columns as you can see right here you can also play around with all with other tables that you have right here you just need to change the table name and also show which column are you trying to pull from that table that is how you are going to be doing this okay guys i'm going to be to show that you actually understand what we have uh, looked at right here i'm going to give you an assignment right here can you pull a list of the title and description of the movies in our database can you pull let's say your manager comes to you and says that are they 
Can you please pull for me a list of the title and description of the movies in our database? Can you write a statement, an SQL statement that would be able to do that when you execute it? Put that in the comment section below. Okay. One thing I want you to know is that select and the from commands are two most important uh, commands you are going to be using in your SQL query. Okay. All right, guys. If you are new on this channel and you have not subscribed, I would encourage you to please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos.